Hello, legends. Okay, so in this video, I'll be cutting my hair. As you can see, it's just you near know, the quarantine period. No one is going to cut your hair, and you just have to actively do it for yourself. Yes, I'm using these clippers. You can see the name there for reference. But any clippers would do, I guess. Uh, a razor blade and a soft hair brush, soft freezer brush. A mini comb and a wide tooth comb. Yeah, <laughs> you guys should get yourself these and some alcohol just to sterilize yourself after you know the haircut. First step is always to comb your hair, you know, make sure you detangle all the notes to clear all the notes. And I'll be using these guards, the half guard, one guard, and one and half. You can just check the numbers there, they're labeled. I use this sometimes. Alright, after combing, you get your clippers, adjust, lever closed, and just make the first guideline. You go in about a centimeter, yeah, just a centimeter is enough. Just above the earlobe. That will be our first guideline and for the second guideline you have to get the one guard closed, clippers closed also. Just go up a bit about a centimeter also, don't go too high, just a centimeter high, get some hair. And after making those guidelines just brush your hair so you can know where you are, don't lose yourself. You can see the first line and the second faint line there we need to clean that up so to clean that up we need to use the half guard yeah half guard closed and just rub off the you know that little little line just be precise so you don't cut in so much you know as you can see I'm just using the edges to just clean up that faint line so we can fade it properly and just make it make the just make the blend join in properly you know okay after that we're going to get the one and a half yes one and a half guard closed and for this one we're going to go up about one and a half centimeters yes i think that would do one and a half centimeters just go up make sure as you are cutting you're cutting in the flick out motion you know don't just press the machine on your skin so to say just flick out cut flick out cut yeah okay i guess you can see the transition there we've got yeah where the one and one and a half join you're just going to put the one guard open and just blend out that part where the one and the one and a half were joining yeah if you do your math properly you're going to understand <laughs> what's happening here but yes just clean up that part where one and one and a half are joining and brush off again brush it off just to make sure that you're on the you know you're moving on the right path and check out the fed if you're not seeing the proper transition knock out some bark 
yes i forgot to mention this you get a true guard it's the one i use to more like clean or debulk the upper part there you know if you see that there's a lot of hair you know just knock out some hair using the tool guard and the transition is going to be more blurry it's more it's going to be more clean you know yeah we still have a bit of bulk there just just get another guy you know just to knock it out but I, i'm sure you can see guys you guys can see what's happening yeah by using the same process or whatever the same steps you just do it on the right side and uh we are good to go okay so everything is done left and right basically it's just simple you don't even take much time less than 10 minutes and you'll be able to fade yourself but from the look of things i'm sure you guys can see that you know we've actually done a good job <laughs> okay this is very important also you know after the fading and everything make sure you knock out the the freeze hair the one that looks excess just on top you know it just helps make your hair cut come out clean I think I'll have to use a mirror for this so I don't, I don't lose myself. Yeah, let me, I'll be looking in the other mirror just to make sure the angles are right. As you can see, we've knocked out the freeze, everything looks clean. And now it's for the most sensitive part of the mud the lining. That lining has to be straight. So we have to, you know, utilize good angles to make sure that everything is okay. For this, for the clippers, the clippers were just more like making a guide, you know, but for that sharp, you know, lining, I, I would need to use a razor. And if you're not good at using a razor, I'll advise you, find someone to help you, you know, otherwise you're going to cut yourself, you know, you need to be a pro. <laughs> yeah, but that's how I do it. Down, flick out, you know, making the line, then after that, you're going to flick up. As you can see the line is a bit I think it's quite decent we don't want to cut in or dig deep otherwise it's, you know when that lining goes is pushed back it's hard to you know to retrieve it so make sure you don't push yourself back just 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 something decent to do just something light okay so that's it for the front line and just the side line pull your skin make sure that you don't cut yourself you know it's, it's satisfactory actually when you put your skin <laughs> listen to this Yeah, you can see those lines. I think that's decent enough. <laughs> yeah, you know, cutting it on here is quite hard. What I'm doing right now is just trimming the back part with the one and a half guard, just to lower it a bit, you know, so that the, the haircut doesn't look like a mohawk. Yeah, just to make sure we clean up a bit. You know, I don't like making a taper behind because I can't really see what's happening behind else i'll just end up doing things that are funny yeah but just clean up your neck you know those excess hairs knock them out and just try to make sure that everything is decent but to, the, to do the least this is what we have yeah i think this is decent enough for yourself done haircut you can see the fed is uh joining quite well i guess yeah <laughs> and uh that's the final 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 look uh, maybe you guys might be wondering what happened here what did you do uh, wait for the next video i'll show you what i did here yeah but you guys should should then follow the story you know it's a story you and i are growing here together